Hey everybody, welcome to Cooking with Vince Live. If you're new here, please like and subscribe to the channel. It would be highly appreciated. So today, we are headed to New York City and New Haven, Connecticut. Both are hot spots for pizza. Uh, I am actually headed in Manhattan to John's Bleecker. I'm sure everybody from, uh, everybody that, that are fans of Dave Portnoy may know John's a bleaker. Uh, got uh, some, some great reviews, some, some critically acclaimed uh, positive reviews from Dave. So uh, I'm going to be headed there and then uh, I'm going to show you my experiences and I'm also going to be headed to Sally's and possibly Pepe's in New Haven, Connecticut. And I'm going to give you my synopsis as far as what I think about uh, all the pizza spots and uh, what my choice is and, and why. bright. I locked myself in a car, out of my car, in a parking garage in New York. So it's going to be a little while before I'm able to show you what I think of John's the Bleaker, but I'm still determined to go, despite the little mishap. All right, guys, so I have a confession to make. I had a really tough time in New York. I got locked out of my car, and I had to wait three hours for AAA. And you say you learn your lesson, but it can really happen to anybody. Anybody can really make that stupid of a mistake. So... I wasn't able to get John's a bleaker. However, I was able to get a different pizza. And this is called This is called Honey Spot Pizza of Milford. So this is what we got here in a New Haven pie. I'm going to show everybody here the pizza that we got. So looks pretty fire I'm gonna I mean there's 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 pepperoni here and there's mushroom and it gets good ratings but it is a little greasy but it is a pretty good pie though I would say that generally so far this is better than most pizzas in Pittsburgh but I feel like this pales in comparison to the, the cream of the crop in New Haven, Connecticut put a comment below if you guys have ever had pizza at this spot and let me know what you think mm. it's pretty good so I had to say not quite Fiori's pizza in Pittsburgh but that's our best pizza we have I probably give this solid 7.5. I should definitely some good pizza. Um, I 
I don't know that I would travel here just for this pie, but definitely worth um, if it's late at night. This is going to be an incredible pizza. It is going to trump any kind of fast food, Domino's, whatever. This is going to be the best pie. Late at night, last resort. That's where I was at tonight. So, this is my first assessment of the food in New Haven. All right, everybody, we are in front of Sally's a Pizza in New Haven, Connecticut. You can see the sign here. Uh, critically acclaimed pizza place here. Uh, open for a while. Um, and uh, Dave Portnoy gave this spot one of the highest ratings out there. I'm going to show you guys inside once I get in line and let you know how uh, my experience was. If you can see the sign there, Sally's Pizza, and we're about to wait in line, so I'll let you guys know. All right, guys, this is the pie. Going to end up devouring this. All right, guys, I'm here to give you my assessment of Sally's. Sally's is really good. Sally's is a light pizza. A light pizza, I got the mozzarella, the mozzarella and tomato pie. Now, one thing I'll say is I tend to be more of a sauce person. So, they were a little lighter on the sauce. Now, you probably could get extra sauce on the side if you wanted. Um, however, I felt like it was a little light on the sauce for my preference. Now, I think Pittsburgh, um, we do have a little bit more sauce on our pizza. So, if you go to Minio's, if you go to Fiori's, it's going to be really sauce heavy. This was a lighter pie. A lighter pie where you don't have, you don't have as much sauce and it was a lot, it was a lighter pie pizza as well so lighter with um, the, the, the crust was flaky and it was crispy and it was like a thin crust exactly the way I thought it was gonna be um, so I definitely would suggest people come to Sally's um, I'm a little impartial to Pete the Pittsburgh pizza but it was it was great so I definitely suggest people seek out Sally's uh, fantastic spot and that's my assessment all right, everybody. So I wanted to do a final synopsis video on ref on the the major pizza spots that I had in New Haven. I will I had some time to reflect over all of them, and there's a few things that I do want to say. So the first thing that I wanted to say is that I'm biased towards toppings. Uh, I generally like meat-based pizzas, so hot sausage, uh, prosciutto. Um, salame, um, capicola, I, I'm generally a, a big meat person. So uh, the straight up uh, cheese and tomato pie, as it was a really great uh, pizza, I love the, the style, was really good. I probably would have liked my uh, pizza itself more if I did have a topping on it at Sally's. What I'll also say is that at Frank Pepe's, I did want to try something different. So I decided to try that white clam pie. And I love the white clam pie. With pizza, I'm a little bit more of a traditionalist. I like tomatoes on my pizza more than I like a white pizza. If you like white pizza and you like seafood, you're going to be in absolute heaven. Um, uh, that's what I'll say about the clam pie. So if I got a different topping, like a meat-based topping, on both of those pizzas, and I was able to compare it to usually how I do Fiori's pizza, which is a pepperoni, they may actually, it may actually have a little bit of a com better comparison in terms of my preference. 
Um, so that's what I'll say about Sally's, and that's what I'll also say about um, Pepe's. Now, I also had another pizza spot other than Honey, honey Spot, and that was the uh, Zanelli's. Now, Zanelli's is on the same street, the main drag in Little Italy, and that actually is a Nap Napoleon-style pizza. And my personal preference out of the three, I got the prosciutto and the cherry tom tomatoes with the mozzarella cheese. That knocked my socks off. I'll show a picture in the video here of what it looked like. fantastic i highly suggest everybody try zanelli's pizza even if you don't generally tend to be a napolitan style pizza lover amazing experience they also have pasta dishes on the menu as well so you can also get uh dishes other than pizza but that's my honest synopsis i think i need another opportunity to try new haven style pizza with toppings on it I did want to try to do it a little bit more, a little bit more of a purist pizza like Tate Portnoy with Sally's, but the next time I go to New Haven, I'm going to put either hot sausage on it or salami, and I'll give you my synopsis at that point. So again, I hope everybody likes and subscribes to the channel. It'd be highly appreciative, and thanks for watching.